So are you asking what has the PDGA approved in terms of discs and targets since the last time we did a video? Well, good. It's a great question. Let me tell you. You're listening to The Disc Golf Show. All right. Well, let's dive into this because we have 19 different approved discs and five different targets to go through. So let's jump into it. First up, we have a Disc Mania, and they had a Disc PDGA approved on the 11th of March, 2024, and it was the MD4, the new one that was approved. Um, there's been a lot of re-releases lately from Disc Mania, I've noticed, and you probably have too. Uh, this is the sixth disc since 2023, um, but the first release or re-release of this year. The original MD4 is now out of production, so now maybe you'll be able to get your hands on an MD4 again. If the flight numbers are about the same as the previous model MD4, uh, it'll be 5, 4, 0, and 3, but we'll have to wait to see. As soon as we can get our hands on one, we'll know. Compound Discs had the Barb approved. It's the first ever PDGA approved disc that the company uh, has had. They're a company from Griffin, Georgia, and I was able to find a little bit of information about the discs, discs and them on their Facebook page at facebook.com slash compound DG. It looks to be a 3D printed disc, and it's a mid to putt approach disc. Uh, from their Facebook post is kind of where I'm pulling some of that information. There's only 15 that exist so far. And the way to get your hands on one is to attend one of their tournaments, uh, one of their events. So uh, hopefully we'll have more information on these soon. And maybe they'll even have more in production. We can get our hands on one. Uh, the barbed wire logo that they have on their site looks freaking cool. And I hope that goes on the actual stamp. Uh, I think it would look terrific. Up next, we have Forge Discs with the Nail. It's their uh, first ever approved disc from Forge Discs. Uh, it seems to be run by two gentlemen that uh, run it, and you can find their Instagram at instagram.com slash forged discs. Uh, that was really the only information that I could find on these as well. I will say, if you're looking at the pictures on YouTube, if you're not on YouTube, go there, because uh, this is going to be pretty visual today there's a lot of cool uh, graphics and stuff for you to look at so go to youtube.com slash disc golf show if you're not already there if you are look at the copper it looks pretty cool and the green and yellow looks pretty cool too but i imagine that one might be a little hard to find out on the course but i don't know we'll see uh, once they get some stamps on that that may change we'll see it looks to be a putter but there's no flight numbers that i could find so well we'll have to wait and see Sacred Discs had their fifth PDGA approved disc uh, and the first for this year on the 18th of March, 2024, and it is called the Seed, and it's from uh, Nico LaCastro's line of discs. Uh, this looks to be a mid-range and approach disc just from the data that I was able to gather and compare with the database of all the other flight numbers on a PDGA. There is no official flight numbers posted for this so best guess is it's a mid-range approach disc from the look of it and from kind of comparing the data we'll see elevation disc golf had the nimbus retooled approved on the 25th of march 2024 it's the eighth disc that's been pdga approved so far uh, from elevation disc golf and this is the first of the year for them uh, to get approved the original Nimbus was approved back on the 11th of September, 2023. Uh, it was a fairway driver, and this one doesn't have any flight numbers as of yet, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, as far as specific changes to this disc from the original Nimbus, they seem pretty small, so the differences between this version and the uh, new retail, retail the retooled versus the old Nimbus, rather, uh, should be pretty small. So we'll, we'll see here. Now, the specific changes were the max weight went up by about 0.8 grams. The diameter grew by about 0.1 centimeter. Height up went up, went up by 0.2 centimeters. The rim depth is the exact same. <clears throat> Excuse me, recovering from a cold. I apologize. <laughs> Voice isn't quite there yet. Uh, the rim thickness shrank by 0.1 centimeter. 
the inside rim diameter went up by 0.3 centimeters and the overall rim depth and diameter ratio went down by 0.1 and uh, flexibility went down by 0.34 kg so it's looking similar very small changes like i said so uh excited to get a hold of maybe a retooled version and see what the difference is if you have one let us know in the comments down below independent discs sweden ab on the 25th of march 2024 they had their fourth disc approved by the pdga and this is the first for this year it looks to be a fairway driver again no official flight ratings on these but on an instagram post they mentioned that depending on the plastic the numbers may change but generally the flight number should be eight six negative two and one up next proto flight had their third PDGA approved disc so far, and it's one of two that they had approved uh, this year on the 25th of March, 2024. Two of them, the CNC Plus and the CNC Minus. Their other disc is just the regular old CNC. And you might be guessing or wondering, are these CNC'd? Yes, they are. That's exactly right. They are CNC manufactured for consistency, or so they say on their website. <clears throat> no flight ratings that I could find. But on their website, uh, under the pre-sale information for the regular CNC, it lists that it has a dome factor of five. So I'm wondering if domininess related to uh, stableness versus unstableness giving you the CNC minus and the plus. Uh, and the standard or the, the baseline would be starting at a dominus of five, whatever that rating might mean. Uh, we'll have to wait and see until we get official flight numbers or get our hands on one and, and chuck one. Uh, right now... Also, only the regular CNC looks to be on pre-sale, but I'm guessing since they just got this approved, the other two will be coming soon. Next up, the Disc Golf Association had the Surf and the Sonar approved on April 1st, 2024. Both the, the Surf and the Sonar were approved on April Fool's Day, but it wasn't an April Fool's joke. So these are real <laughs> in case you were wondering. Um, they are the first discs that were PDGA approved for DGA this year. Their Facebook page, they mentioned that the surf is a shallow beadless neutral disc with lots of glide and the sonar is beaded, slightly overstable and reliable. They look pretty cool too. I like their, uh, their different plastics that they have in the, uh, the pictures there. Up next, the Clash Discs had a bunch of discs just approved. Um, they had four discs approved this month, bringing the total to five discs that they've had approved this year. So they're up in all their molds here, it looks like, giving us more and more options. Uh, looks like they're sticking true to their food names like they've done before uh, with the millet, the barley, the almond, and the guava, which is a tone variant that they had approved since the guava is already existing. Um, it looks like from compiling again all the data that I could find, they seem to be uh, leaning towards the millet being a fairway driver, the barley being a mid-range putt approach disc, and the almond is a putt approach disc. As for the guava, uh, the tone variant I would assume would be close to their existing uh, plastic. Um, or existing guava mold just in this new type of plastic. Uh, so the flight numbers, if they're similar, should be five, four, zero, and three. And I want to take a moment right now to ask, hey, subscribe to the channel and like it if you like it. And if you don't like it, just, you know, give us a thumbs down and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to see. We'd super, super appreciate it. And last, but definitely not least, a, we have the Finu line line tamer, if I said that right, that was approved on the 3rd of April, 2024 uh, by the PDGA. And it looks to be a 3D printed disc because it looks pretty rough compared to, you know, your plastic modeled or injected discs uh, that you normally see. So this is, I think, definitely 3D printed. You tell me if you're looking at the pictures there. I do like that purple color though that they have that they printed out it looks pretty neat couldn't find very much information on them but i did learn through trying to look them up and research that there's a sewing machine part called the line tamer so i wonder if maybe it's a reference probably probably not 
<laughs> All right, let's jump into the targets. Alrighty, and first up for the targets, what are we looking at here? We're looking at the RPM Discs RPM Helix 2 uh, and their target certification that was approved on the 11th of March 2024. This is the third PDGA approved target for them, and it's the first of this year. Their last target was approved in December of 2022, and it was a standard category target. Uh, the Helix 2 is a championship level target. Uh, its design is, if you're looking at it, pretty interesting. The bottom is kind of swooped and swirled, if you will. I don't know, it looks super fancy, but at the same time, kind of not, if that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, look at what we're showing up on the YouTube channel. It might make sense. Or go to PDGA's website and take a look. It's interesting. Um, seems to be made uh, out of quality materials, though. It's made from galvanized steel, stands at 53.4 centimeters tall, has 14 outer chains, 28 inner chains, a depth of 23.6 centimeters, an inside diameter of 66.3 centimeters, and stands 84.7 centimeters above the ground and 53.4 centimeter target zone height. Up next, Giant Industry had the high row? port approved if i'm saying that right on the 18th of march 2024 this is the second pdga approved target from them with their only other model being the hyro pro uh, that was approved in september of 2021 both of their targets including this one are basic level targets uh with the recently approved port being you guessed it portable uh it's made out of powder coated steel and nylon fabric for the top and the bottom of that uh, disc catcher there. And it's definitely a basic level target, it looks like it. Um, 16 outer chains, zero inner chains, depth of 20.9 centimeters, an inside diameter of 71.5 centimeters, a height above ground of 82 centimeters, and a 40.2 centimeter target zone. You got to be accurate with this one. Not a really big target zone. It uh, has the look of kind of like a microphone tripod down at the bottom. It's got three feet instead of like doing the wheels or like the cross post thing that they normally do. Uh, so it's interesting. It's definitely a basic level portable basket. It looks like it even comes with a bag. Pretty sweet. Up next, Doomsday Discs had the bunker target certification uh, and approval on the 1st of April, 2024. It's not an April Fool's joke. This is real, I guess. <laughs> it's so hard to believe what's real and what isn't when these things get approved, right? Uh, it's the first ever PDGA approved target uh, for for Doomsday Disc. And it, it has to be one of the coolest names out there for targets. The Doomsday Bunker. It's just, it just sounds cool, right? Um, love the color on the top too. It's kind of got that like tealish kind of greenish blue color pretty cool it's a championship level target it's made out of galvanized powder coated steel it has 12 outer chains 24 inner chains stands at 83.5 centimeters above the ground with a depth of 22 centimeters an inside diameter of 67.5 centimeters and a target zone height of 50.1 centimeters so a little bit more forgiving than the previous one uh, up next Two targets were approved for, for Let It Fly, the Falcon 1 and the Falcon on April 1st as well of 2024. Um, these are the first two ever approved targets for Let It Fly. The Falcon is a standard category target and the Falcon 1 is a championship level uh, or championship category target. Uh, they definitely need to make a Falcon. Falcon. Punch. Who got the reference? Who got it? You did. I know you did. Uh, just, you know, saying. The Falcon standard category target is made from galvanized powder coated steel, has 12 outer chains, 18 inner chains, stands at 83.5 centimeters above the ground, has a depth of 22 centimeters, inside diameter of 62.5 centimeters, and a target zone height of 52.5 five centimeters now the falcon one the championship level category target is also made from galvanized powder coated steel has 12 outer chains and 24 inner chains stands at 83.0 centimeters above the ground a depth of 21.7 centimeters inside diameter of 62.5 centimeters and has a target zone height of 52 
centimeters. And that brings us to the end of the PDGA approved equipment since our last video and catching us up to this month. And uh, if you like the video, please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe if you would, and leave a comment down below. Helps out the algorithm. And uh, share the video to a friend. Why not? I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hey, hey, watch that video. Watch it. Yeah, that one. Or that one. But definitely that one.